got the Memphis Grizzlies heading down to Dallas to square off against uh, Mark Cuban's former Dallas Mavericks, who are laying a massive number, minus nine and a half. Grizz plus 340 on the money line, total sitting at 230 and a half. I mean, Grizzlies are a team, they're like a bad team that I can't get a handle on. Uh, so for me, I ended up being a stay away. I don't know, you know, Cuban selling the team. I don't know if that's creating any sort of distractions on the back end for these players. Probably not, but you never know. Nine and a half with this Mavs team who have, I, I feel like just anecdotally blown a couple of games they shouldn't have. I, I don't, I can't trust either team, especially at this price. Um, so for me, it was a pretty easy stay away, but junior, any thoughts here on, uh, Mavs Grizzlies? I think, I think you, you said s- something that kind of encapsulates everything. I think about this game. I do not have a handle on the Grizzlies and what they are. I just, I just don't know what they are. So, um, uh, they look like on paper, the type of team that would give the Mavs problems. Uh, I will say that, um, because the Mavs don't have much size, not to say the Grizzlies have a ton of size, but they do have length. Uh, and they do have more continuity than the Mavs in in terms of their front court. Uh, I don't really see anyone on, on the Mavs uh, side that matches up well uh, with Jaron Jackson. Um, I just don't really, like I said, I just don't really have a handle on the Ma- on the Grizzlies and the Mavs. Like you've mentioned, um, their defense lacks a lot to be desired, especially uh, in the second half. So I cannot be laying um, a, a number this big with a team like that. Yeah, like I, I just feel if I bet this game either side, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, you laid nine and a half with Dallas, and like, oh, you're an idiot, or oh, you took nine and a half points with this Grizzlies team. What are you thinking? So, I, I you know, some of it, some of my handicapping is just like when I'm watching this game, h- how will I be dealing uh, with my own sanity? Shark, quick sidebar: what is uh, what is Mark Cuban doing selling the Mavs? Uh, stepping aside from Shark Tank, uh, there's rumors that maybe he's bringing a team to Vegas. What do you think uh, Cuban's up to here? It's a good question. I mean, I think he still has full control over the team. It looked kind of like a, I don't know, like a money grab where he just yes. sells off and makes money and still has control. But in terms of Vegas, I mean, that would be incredible for the league. I mean, as you as you mentioned, just you know, taking outside of this this game for a second, but th- that would be great. I mean, I'd love to see basketball in Vegas full time. So I, if he's going to do that. Power to him, but <clears throat> let's talk about this game for a second. I think the biggest counterpoint to taking Dallas here tonight, because of course you don't want to take Memphis. Memphis has just perpetually underperformed, and that's just purely roster. I mean, there's no way around it. No John Moran, no bigs. Obviously, moving Dylan Brooks. He was supposedly a tyrant, but Houston's looking pretty good with Dylan Brooks. Memphis is looking pretty terrible without him, so maybe he's not so tyrannical. Maybe that's what they need, like a Dennis Rodman type of thing. But Dallas is 0-3 ATS on the front end of a back-to-back scenario, which I do think is what you were referencing, Sean, when you said they just are not getting to the number. I remember there was a noteworthy game against Charlotte. They were laying about 11 and a half, and I think they won by six. You're just not going to see a full effort from them tonight because they play Oklahoma City tomorrow night, which is a much, much bigger game for them. They have already hammered uh, Memphis once this year on the road, 125 to 110. Motivation will not necessarily be gigantic to back that up again. And as you mentioned, Memphis is just inconsistent, hard to read. Two and six ATS on the road. This team will be a buy team. I, I firmly predict we will be on this broadcast sometime in January buying this team almost every single night. It's just not now, and this is a tough game. Yeah, it feels like a, a good stay away here. All right. All right. 